Hello and welcome to Horror and Monster Collectibles where today we are going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial for you guys. I get a lot of questions uh, about how to open a clamshell case, uh, specifically NECA, and uh, there is a way to open it and then be able to reseal it. So a lot of people just don't know how to do this, so I figured I would go ahead and do a video showing how I do it. Now there may be other methods, but this is what works for me. So first, what I do is I come, I'm gonna go tilt the camera down here, see if I can work with it on camera. But I take an X-Acto, which is extremely sharp, so you have to be very, very careful when using this. I do not recommend any children doing this. This is for adult collectors only. And again, this will rip you open super, super quick if you're not very careful. So what I do is, is that you'll see these little tabs here that are staked in. And what I do is I just cut the inside of this tab and I score that. And then I just pry the two pieces apart. And if there's anything that's still hung up, I take this in between the two halves and I just break it free. And that's how we get it open. So let's go ahead and do that real quick for you guys. What I do is I just kind of get in there and score it. Typically I don't do this when I have a camera in front of me though, but you hopefully will get the idea. And the idea is to do this so that you can get it back open again or back closed again. Close to being from the factory. This does take time, unfortunately. There's no shortcuts here. But just do it like that. And then we are going to show you how to put this back in place when we're done looking at the figure. And real quick, before we move on, I just want to show you this completed side, but you can see how they're all cut. And again, what we're doing here is we're just, we're not cutting through the plastic. We're just scoring the inside of the box uh, with the X-Acto. And then what I do is I just try to pull up on it. And if there's any, pieces of plastic or Lexan or whatever it is. Uh, I just put the blade in through here and just kind of clean it up and cut what is hung up on there. But once you're done, it should look as clean as that. And then we have full access to the figure. Take him out of his tray right there. And bam, we have Sam. So let's put him back. All right, guys, when you do go to reseal the package, you can just close it back. They have little indents on here that lock the packaging back, but then you have this lip that kind of looks like crap. So what I do is I actually like reheat these and stick them together and I use a soldering iron to do this and then I typically set it at about 45 to 50 watts um, if you set it too high you can get burn marks on, on the plastic another tip too is every time you do one to clean it off on a wet sponge to get that plastic off of there because what it'll do is the next time you do one it'll blacken that plastic and we don't want that so let's take a tip and it's relatively fat tip. And um, all I do is I just take it and I hold the part like this. Let me get it in focus for you guys. And I just melt the two pieces of plastic together. And you do have to be careful when doing this. You can burn yourself, but typically um, it's not something I would recommend for children to do. 
So you can see that guy is sealed back. So we're gonna do this along the whole edge and then I'll show you when it's done. So here it is, all done, and uh, it's all sealed up. I can get it in focus. All sealed up like new. And I don't know, this is something I like to do. I wouldn't recommend it uh, for everybody, but if you're anal retentive like I am, and obviously an adult, uh, this is how I do it and how I would recommend resealing them. So. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them and I'll be happy to answer them. And also feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications for new videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.